So what is going on YouTube, my name is Meho and welcome to another React Native tutorial in which we're gonna take a look at how to start building a login application with React and basically we would see how to fit all the pieces of the puzzle to create an actual app you can publish. Alright, so um, what I want to do now is basically since you are trying to create a application, it's always better to create modular applications. For example, you can split your application into modules and uh, those modules should pretty much be independent of other modules right so what you want to do is for example um, for a mobile application your module could be your individual screen or maybe a bunch of screens so what I do usually is right here I create an app folder which basically is the common code base of both Android and iOS applications and under this you can create like components for now we can add other folders as well for example like assets or something like that if you are trying to add images or something to your um, application then you would obviously need assets under your application folder the next thing is that under components also you should create folders I recommend that so I can create like home and under home I would create index.js right so I'm gonna say react native component and uh, this is a shortcut I have configured for visual studio um, if you want to know how to do that I guess um, you have to go to like code preferences user snippets I believe yeah and somewhere in JavaScript I believe I had done that yeah so you can see that this is a conf this is a configuration file is it well you know not this one I guess uh, I can just do command P as well no command shift P <laughs> all right I'm not really I'm not really memorized these shortcuts let's just do it right just like that javascript.json yeah so there you go so this is a snippet I've configured for you know if I write RNC and press tab it will replace this prefix with this body so it's quite handy actually at times so anyways so what I want to do now is just name it home and uh, basically what we are trying to do here is create a login application right so what we need is maybe like um, text with which just says like login into the application and I'm gonna not focus on the UI part right now for a couple of reasons first I'm bad at it <laughs> not really I just don't understand UX but I'm basically good if you're if you can just provide me with the designs but you know UX is not my kind of thing so anyways the second reason is that uh, I guess we should focus more on code so that we are able to actually understand what's going on here instead of like just focusing on little things like design and something uh -huh. Command B, there you go. So, um, log into our application, and then we're gonna create an input field with text input here, and uh, for password one as well. I'm gonna keep it rough right now. We're gonna just do that later on. So it should be like text input and text from React Native. And by the way. Um, focusing a lot on UI for react I guess it should be handled by some other framework or something so um, there's a thing called native base which I'm basically using on code dumps um, application as well most probably I'm actually using it and I want to publish it using native base only because it's kind of cool it gives you all those components and it's basically you can think like bootstrap of react native but um, I believe it's better than that so it provides you with a lot of stuff and I guess bootstrap also but you know anyway so um, what we want to do now is basically configure that our home component is loaded when I load um, the app right so what we want to do here is create a stack navigator which has home components as its first um, thing right so I'm gonna say this is home is home and I'm gonna get rid of these two right so right now what we have is that uh, I can just get rid of this mm, basically get rid of everything here 
or should we yeah because we are default exporting it to create stack navigator right so we can get rid of all of this and it's safe and this one as well so yeah basically you can see right now we are loading our application our ugly application where we can just write anything and uh, anything so it does not really look like an application at all but fundamentally it works right so if I if I were to add like a dashboard page here and dashboard and include it from above so I would just do dashboard here and here and I would just go ahead and create another dashboard which would just say index.js rnc there you go dashboard there we are and uh, yep so um, what I'm gonna do next is I can just create a text which just says dashboard so right that's basically the deal we are doing here creating multiple components and now when stuff like this happens what I've seen is react does not really give you any information on here but you, what you have to do is basically look at your module bundler to get that information so uh, right now you can see that we are doing some stupid stuff including dashboard from react native and I'm not really sure why I did that so it should be text right and uh, what we can do now is just wait for it to reload and again it could not connect to development so I guess we just have to restart the module bundler or maybe we do have another error or something like that so there you go um, so now we would be able to hop on to dashboard if we have some sort of button or something right here to actually get into dashboard and which we would create later on as we proceed with our login application to actually allow the user to log in so that's all for this video and if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching i'll see you then in the next one wait your mission should you choose to accept it is to become awesome by going at codedam.com and learning various different things among a community of developers this video will end in one second good luck